<clears throat> so I'm watching the actual current video of a country that we're doing trade with who is shipping us fentanyl and killing tens of thousands of our people and doing nothing about it while we're asking them to stop it, doing nothing about it. At the same time, we're watching video of them literally going full Nazi, literally rounding up a minority, handcuffing them, taking them to camps, trying to snuff out an entire minority. We're watching it. Like, actually, with there's video. You know, I have to admit, um, I've been hearing about the Uyghurs and was troubled by it, but when you see it, your brain just goes, you know, because uh, as I've told you so many times, the, the visual element just completely reorient, reorients your head. When something's a concept, it's easy to ignore. It doesn't have purchase in your brain. But as soon as you put it in a picture, damn, that picture, again, has to be, it must be demonstrated to our satisfaction that that's a real video and we know what we're actually seeing. It's not some kind of mistake. But assuming that's real, we have to discontinue all business with China, period. Otherwise, we're, we're just abetting the Nazis. And by the way, Israel, step up. Israel, step up. Kyle Bass, who is a big anti-China guy that I follow, and you should too, uh, because it's a a real interesting voice on China's badness. Uh, He used a hashtag today. Well, I'll tell you why first. He showed a video which appears to show China with hundreds of Uyghur minority uh, folks uh, who have their hands bound and their heads covered, sitting in rows and, and being led off to camps. Think about this. Hundreds and hundreds, it's an actual video, I, and it looks real. I mean, you can't trust even video these days. But, you know, my judgment is it's probably more real than not. And it looks like um, an actual uh, Nazi Roundup. Now, we in America like to call everybody a Nazi. In fact, little Greta was being compared to a Nazi online because she she has pigtails and there was some Nazi icon that had pigtails and totally unfair, totally unfair. You know, just like I, I I rail against people saying that Trump is Hitler because it just minimizes what a Hitler is. All right, it's not even close, right? Likewise, if there's something about Hitler that reminds you of Greta, that's not fair. Can we keep you know, Hitler out of normal political conversation? But I'm going to make an exception for China. If you are literally rounding up a minority, and it's on video, and we can see it, we don't have to guess anymore, assuming that video is real. I think it is. We're watching it. We're watching another Holocaust. It's an actual, literal Holocaust. Now, you might say they're not killing them, but they're certainly not letting them live a free life like a regular person. So they're, they're killing them in a sense. I mean, they, their hearts might still be beating, but they're basically taking their lives away. Um, you could argue that, well, that's not as bad as the Nazis. Well, not yet. But how many of them are there? Yeah, and then there's the question of organ harvesting. I don't know much about that, but it doesn't sound good. So I saw this hashtag, uh, which is hashtag China with ZIS added. So it becomes Chai Nazis. And I thought, well, that's clever. And so I'm watching... The actual current video of a country that we're doing trade with who is shipping us fentanyl and killing tens of thousands of our people and doing nothing about it while we're asking them to stop it, doing nothing about it. At the same time, we're watching video of them literally going full Nazi, literally rounding up a minority, handcuffing them, 
taking them to camps, trying to snuff out an entire minority. We're watching it. Like, actually, with there's a video. You know, I have to admit, um, I've been hearing about the Uyghurs and was troubled by it. But when you see it, your brain just goes, you know, because uh, as I've told you so many times, the, the visual element just completely reorient, reorients your head. When something's a concept, it's easy to ignore. It doesn't have purchase in your brain. But as soon as you put it in a picture, damn, that picture, again, it has to be, it must be demonstrated to our satisfaction that that's a real video and we know what we're actually seeing. It's not some kind of mistake. But assuming that's real, we have to discontinue all business with China, period. Otherwise, we're, we're just abetting the Nazis. And by the way, Israel, step up. Israel, step up. Right? You know, how long have we had Israel's back? A lot, right? The United States? Part of it, well, a big part of it, is because the, the Holocaust, you know, um, I guess the, the, the idea of it, the history of it, the impact of it, it has a big impact on our, our current situation and how we see things. But I think Israel probably needs to say, we know what Hitler looks like, and there it is. You know, the, 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 you've heard the saying, never again. It's happening right now. Never again wasn't good enough. Now, they're not rounding up Jews, but I'll bet they would. If there were an equally sized Jewish community in China, and I, I assume there's not. I just, I don't know. But I assume there's not. Don't you think they'd get rounded up? Yep. Absolutely. Because they would have a uh, belief system that was incompatible with, with the bosses, I guess. Now, it could be the, that the Uyghurs may have some Sharia thoughts that give them a little extra reason for the Chinese government to be worried. But their worry cannot justify rounding up an ethnic community uh, as they are. So um, at this point, I would say if we do make a trade deal with China, we should be ashamed of it. Yeah, we, we should feel whatever's the, what's the deepest level of shame that you should or could feel. I believe the deepest level of shame would be to let the Holocaust happen again right in front of you. Can you think of a deeper shame than that? What, reinstituting slavery? What would be a deeper shame than doing business with a company that's sending you fentanyl by the barrel, killing tens of thousands of our people right in front of us? They're not even pretending to stop it anymore. At the same time, they're going full Holocaust. We're going to trade with them? Seriously, would you? Would you ever buy another Chinese product if you knew how to avoid it? All right, so I'm going to press again. We need to have a law absolutely requiring at least Amazon and maybe you know, Walmart and something, at least the big companies, we need to be able to label their products so that we know what is coming from the Holocaust regime. China is a Holocaust regime now. Like, I, I'm just going to say it. They've gone full Holocaust. Right in front of us, right under your, right under your nose, and now we've got actual video of it. So you can't pretend anymore. You know, the, you, you can't put it off anymore. We can no longer do business with China. I don't support any trade deal, period.